Hey everyone, Jessica Shire here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm up on the Art Impressions blog with a fun card featuring these playful dachshunds and this is using the Santa Paws set. So I am part of the Art Impressions design team. They did send me this set to use. Um, actually I got to pick it out so it was one that I knew I would use quite a bit. And what I'm going to be doing today is taking a piece of Nina 80 pound cardstock and I'm going to be stamping a panel. So this is repetitive stamping. And instead of using a stamp platform or stamp positioning tool like the Misty, I decided to use acrylic blocks. So I'm just going to hand stamp these. And to do that, to make sure I get a really nice crisp image, I just use some Copic friendly pigment ink. So I'm going to start off with taping down my background paper just to my work surface. You could use a mat or the glass media mat, something along that lines, but my mat is covered with a uh, contact paper. It's like heavy duty contact paper. So it does resist staining pretty well and does clean up nicely with either soap and water or a stamp cleaner, anything like that. And that's kind of important because I will be stamping off of the paper to get a ongoing pattern. If I sound a little bit funny, I am a little bit under the weather, so I just have a slight cold. It's nothing huge or anything, but it's definitely affecting my voice a little bit. So I started off with the lower right hand corner. I'm going to stamp the dachshund um, right there in kind of the center area at an angle. And then I'm going to stamp the other two right above it, leaving space in the middle of that row so that it will offset the rest of the lines of dachshunds. And I'm just going to keep repeating that. So my next one I'm going to stamp in the middle right above those second line of dachshunds and then stamp on either side and continue on with that. I kind of got this idea from a conversation I had with my brother-in-law about a herd of dachshunds. I do have one dachshund. Her name's Sobe. She's a miniature dachshund and she's black and tan. So I definitely knew that I was going to be using this stamp set with this cute little dachshund for some time this Christmas season. To start coloring, I'm actually going to follow the packaging on the stamp set. So the stamp sets have this really cool, um, easy way to color your images if you're not really sure of where to put your shadows. I've kind of said this a couple times before. So I'm going to start off with my darkest color, the E59 and go ahead and color in all of the shadows real quick and then go in with the E57, which is a tad bit lighter of a brown. And then I'll do that with the green on the sweater also using YG67 and then going in with YG63. I am keeping my colors pretty exact to the packaging just because I was already going to be using those colors anyways. It's very traditional Christmas colors. But I'm going to add in a bit of aqua a little bit later. You'll see that. So now I can take my YG63 and go through and color in all those other spots. It kind of reminds me of like cartoon coloring, how there's very simple shadows. It kind of reminds me of like a wrapping paper almost or like a just like a pattern on like a notebook or something like that. I just think it's really fun. So for my yellows, I used a Y15 and a Y02. There isn't a whole lot of a contrast between those two colors, and I kind of wish I would have used a bit of a darker yellow. So we're going to skip over some a little bit. I'm just going to show you the coloring of the first docks in there on that bottom right hand corner. But for all the rest of them, I did go ahead and just color in all of my dark colors first. And then I'm going to go back through and use all of those light colors throughout the entire panel. And this just makes it a little bit quicker, I think, because I'm not switching between colors. And then after I'm done, you can see the entire panel. I just think they look super cute. And it was pretty easy to get these basically straight in that whole diagonal covering the entire Nina 80 pound cardstock. I am going to use one of the Art Impressions rectangle stitch dies to die cut this panel out. I also use that same die on a piece of aqua cardstock. I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says dachshund through the snow, which is very fitting for my little herd of dachshunds. 
stamping that with the same black ink that I used previously but this time with my stamp platform because it's just easier to line up a sentiment I think on a piece of cardstock when you have a stamp platform or stamp positioning tool. I decided to add in that cute little bone with the ribbon on it so I'm going to stamp that twice onto a piece of scrap uh, white cardstock and then color that in. For the bow on the bone I'm using R29 and R14 the same red colors that I used on the earmuffs of the little dachshund herd. For the shadow of the bone I use E43 and then E81 to color in the rest of it. Following the same shadows on the packaging as I did with that little dachshund. I do color that twice but I only show the one coloring and then I do fussy cut that out leaving a bit of a white border. I'm going to glue the bone onto that aqua cardstock right below the sentiment and I just use my tweezers to help align that. It kind of helps keep my fingers out of the glue. So the challenge of this was to cut the dachshund herd panel so that you could see the sentiment on the aqua paper below it. So what I did is I took my small paper trimmer, I overlapped the sentiment panel over the top of the dachshunds, and then I could line up to where enough of that cardstock would get chopped off. And then I gently pulled out that top paper, the one with the sentiment on it, and then I just chopped off the corner of the dachshund herd panel. I didn't get enough of it, so I went ahead and I chopped it a little bit more and then I can attach that to my card base. I also use some light gray cardstock below the aqua paper because the dachshund panel will have a lot of white on it already. And then I went ahead and I used some red craft foam and also some liquid glue to attach those two pieces together. I used this, the same rectangle die as I did with the dachshund and the aqua panel to die cut that red craft foam. That way they were the same size. And then I just chopped off the exposed red craft foam so that it was the same shape as the dachshund herd panel. Now I'm going to add that panel onto my card base with the aqua paper and the sentiment using the same liquid glue. I decided to add some glossy accents onto the dachshund's collar, which is that aqua color, and also onto the bells, the stars on their sweaters, and the bow on the bone. Since this card is a little bit on the simpler side, I think it just gives a little bit of an extra detail. If I remake this one, I would definitely go ahead and chop off my corners. That way I knew where to place the dachshunds. That way some of them didn't have their heads cut off. But other than that, I think it turned out super cute. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out the description box below the video. There is the blog post link that goes to the Art Impressions blog where you can see a bit more detail if you like. And there's also a product list on both the Art Impressions blog list and down in the description box for you if you are curious about all of the products that I use today. Alright you guys, that is it for me. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I appreciate you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Meh, meh.